Hi, this is Rebecca from Prep Scholar. This lesson is going to give you some useful tips to do as well as you can on the TOEFL reading section. Specifically, we're going to talk about reference questions. What's a reference question? Well, the reading section of the TOEFL may include one or two questions that ask us what a term in the passage refers to. Normally, this will be a pronoun like she or they. That's a reference question. In a reference question, the term will always be referring to something in the passage, but it can often be hard to figure out which thing the term is referring to. In this lesson, we're going to give you some tips on how to do that. Let's begin with some fundamentals. Forget about the TOEFL for a second. Let's think about reference and how it works in English. Sometimes, when we're discussing a topic, it's helpful to be able to refer to that topic without using the same name over and over again. For example, if we're discussing somebody named Aaron Burr, we don't want to say Aaron Burr over and over again. So, we just say he. For instance, we can say Aaron Burr was arrested for treason, but he was later acquitted. In this sentence, he refers to Aaron Burr. Reference questions on the TOEFL ask us to figure out these kinds of reference relations. That's a simple example. Let's look at one that is a little more complicated. Carnaby cockatoos feed on a diet that is determined by the seasons and which includes shrub flowers and seeds of plantation pine. When they arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. What does they refer to in this sentence? And how do we figure out what it refers to? In the rest of this lesson, we're going to explain how to figure that out and how to apply that knowledge to the TOEFL. Reference questions on the TOEFL are easy to recognize. They will almost always highlight a word in the passage and then ask what that word refers to. Here is an example using a sentence that we saw earlier. Carnaby cockatoos feed on a diet that is determined by the seasons and which includes shrub flowers and seeds of plantation pine. When they arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. The word they in the passage refers to... Reference questions on the TOEFL will always look like that. So, as soon as we recognize this kind of question, we can begin applying the methods that we will discuss here. Let's say that we've recognized a reference question. Now, what do we do? There are several strategies for reference questions that we can use. Let's go through what those strategies are. The simplest strategy is understanding. If we have a good understanding of the passage, then we can sometimes just figure out on our own what the term refers to. Let's look at this sentence again. Aaron Burr was arrested for treason, but he was later acquitted. For some of us, it's pretty clear that he refers to Aaron Burr, even if we can't say exactly how we figured it out. We don't need a strategy to figure that out. If you understand a reading passage well, you might be able to just figure out a reference question like that. If you can answer a reference question just by understanding the passage, great. But if you can't, don't worry. There are other strategies you can use. In fact, you can get a reference question right even if you don't understand a lot of the words and phrases in the passage. 
if we just understand a passage, then we might not need to look at the answer choices to figure out the answer to a reference passage. But for the strategy we're going to consider next, we do need to look at the answer choices. Let's look at the same question we looked at above and now include the answer choices. Carnaby cockatoos feed on a diet that is determined by the seasons and which includes shrub flowers and seeds of plantation pine. When they arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. The word they in the passage refers to A. Seeds of plantation pine B. The Swan Coastal Plains C. Carnaby cockatoos D. The seasons If we don't just understand what they refers to, how do we figure out which of these answer choices is correct? Our first step should be to eliminate the choices that don't work. Here's a very important rule for pronoun questions. A pronoun can only refer to something that comes before it, not after it. Consider this sentence. Aaron Burr was a participant in a famous duel. His opponent was Alexander Hamilton. Notice that his in this sentence cannot refer to Alexander Hamilton. Why not? Because Hamilton is mentioned after the pronoun, not before. So it's impossible for Alexander Hamilton to be the person that his refers to. We can use this rule to eliminate answers in pronoun questions. So let's look at the question again. Carnaby cockatoos feed on a diet that is determined by the seasons and which includes shrub flowers and seeds of plantation pine. When they arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. The word they in the passage refers to A. Seeds of plantation pine B the Swan Coastal Plains, C, Carnaby Cockatoos, D, the Seasons. Notice that one of these answers choices occurs after the pronoun that we're being asked about. Which one? I'll give you a moment to think about it. Got it? It's answer B, the Swan Coastal Plains. So this answer simply cannot be right and we can eliminate it. So our answers now are A, seeds of plantation pine, C, carnaby cockatoos, D, the seasons. Now we've got three possible answers to the question. How do we decide? We substitute in the answers into the sentence and see if they make sense. Let's look at the question again. Carnaby cockatoos feed on a diet that is determined by the seasons and which includes shrub flowers and seeds of plantation pine. When they arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. The word they in the passage refers to A. Seeds of plantation pine C. Carnaby cockatoos D. The seasons Let's try substituting in the answers into the original sentence. What do I mean by that? Well, just remove they and insert the answer in its place. So, if we substitute answer A, we get When seeds of plantation pine arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. If we substitute answer C, we get when 
Carnaby cockatoos arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. And if we substitute answer D, we get when the seasons arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. Which of those seems best? I'll give you a moment to think about it. It's answer C. Carnaby cockatoos. If you got that, great. If you didn't, don't worry. Let's think about why it's the right answer. One way to see this is to see why the other answers are wrong. Let's look again at answer A. When seeds of plantation pine arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. That doesn't really make much sense, does it? For example, notice that the sentence refers to them again as these birds. But seeds aren't birds. Let's look at answer D next. When the seasons arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. That has the same problem. Seasons aren't birds either. Finally, let's look at answer C. When carnaby cockatoos arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. That does make sense. Carnaby cockatoos are birds. You might not know what cockatoos are, it's a pretty unusual word, but you can probably figure out from the other clues in the passage that they are a kind of bird. So, C is the correct answer. So, if you're not sure which answer is right, try substitution. By the way, the correct answer might not be grammatically perfect when you substitute it, so don't worry too much about grammar. Instead, think about whether the answer makes sense when you substitute it back into the original passage. If it does, and none of the other answers make sense, then it's probably the right answer. Okay, let's review. On the reading section of the TOEFL, there may be one or two reference questions. These questions will ask us what a term in the passage, usually a pronoun like she or they, refers to. We discussed several ways of answering these kind of questions. The easiest and quickest way is simply to understand what the pronoun is referring to just from reading the passage. But if you can't figure it out this way, don't worry. There are a couple more strategies to try. First, you can eliminate the answers that don't make any logical sense. In particular, you can eliminate items that occur only after the term in the passage. Next, you can substitute answers in for the term in the original question. If the answer makes sense when you substitute it, and none of the other answers do, it's probably correct. Let's look once more at the question we've been talking about. Carnaby cockatoos feed on a diet that is determined by the seasons and which includes shrub flowers and seeds of plantation pine. When they arrive on the Swan Coastal Plains, however, these birds encounter a landscape that is heavily modified by land clearing. The word they in the passage refers to A. Seeds of plantation pine B. The Swan Coastal Plains C. Carnaby cockatoos D. The seasons We used elimination to rule out one of those answers, so we were left with these three choices. A. Seeds of plantation pine C. Carnaby cockatoos D. The seasons Then, 
we used substitution to choose the correct answer. C. Carnaby cockatoos. And that's how to answer reference questions. We hope that it's been helpful. At Prep Scholar, we want to help as many students as possible to do as well as they can on the TOEFL. If you want to improve your TOEFL score and you don't know how, try our complete course. Just visit TOEFL.PrepScholar.com. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the next lesson from Prep Scholar.